Stop grieving, you know. You better not be blaming yourself for anything. Maury came by earlier to see how the eulogy was going. I told you to tell him I'm not doing it. You need to tell him that yourself. I don't understand why you won't. Because I can't. Lex, you're an adult now. I can't face this for you. If you need anything, call me. when they ask. Hey, what are you doing here? It's late. I just came to tell you that I can't do it. I can't do the eulogy. What? Why? I just can't do it. I... No. Don't. Why do you gotta be so cold with people? What? Just, never mind. Look, just... Can you come inside? It's cold out. Please. Fine. So why can't you do it? Because I, I can't even find the words to tell you. Well, why don't you tell me how you're feeling? You don't think that's what I'm trying to do? She would still be here. Stop. You can't blame yourself. But I should have seen it coming. She was my best friend. How am I supposed to stand in front of those people and talk about her? I'd be a fraud. We're her family, and we should have seen it coming too. But nobody can blame themselves for Casey being able to hide it so well. But I could have done something to help her. You can't keep dwelling on the what-ifs. She'd want you to keep living your life. We should be living our lives together. And you still can. How? By keeping her memory alive. And how am I supposed to do that? You can start with the eulogy. I already told you I can't. Yes, you can. Did you bring your sketchbook? Yeah, why? This. Your drawings always show this side of Casey we never got to see. How would you know I would have this? I've known you practically your entire life. Okay, well, what am I supposed to do with this? Put it up and expect everyone to somehow read it? No. Remember when she brought you home the first time? She was pulling out your hand, coming through the door. She's like, everybody come meet my best friend, Lexi. Now tell me, tell me what you were thinking about when you drew that. Casey. Yeah, but why her smile? You rarely saw it at home. 
Well, I loved her smile. I wanted to dry it before I forgot what it looks like. And when have you seen her smile? There was this one time she came over to my house carrying a stray cat. She had the biggest smile and she said, I brought Mari a friend. I remember that day. Mom was freaking out, made her take like 10 showers. <laughs> we were laughing about it last week. Her laugh was so contagious. I loved it. This scar on the side of her jaw, she was saving me from a bunch of assholes in first grade. That's how we became best friends. She told me she fell. Well, that's not far from the truth. I just wish she would have told me. I could have helped her. Come on. You probably wouldn't have told her either. Or am I wrong? No. You're right. We just assume because we knew each other so well. Well, I don't want to assume. I want to know how you're feeling. Please. Lex. You gotta let people in. Or you'll end up just like Casey. And I can't imagine losing you too. I feel empty. I really miss her. I want her back. together.